What is going on YouTube? Thank you guys for watching today's video. And today's video is pretty much just going to be a follow up of what I did in the previous video, stripping down the Coyote motor. Everything that needed to be done in the prep phase is already done. Um, the last thing that does need to be done is just dropping the oil pan and getting the oil pump gear uh, housing out. Um, so that's going to be in essence all we're doing today. In the future we are going to be tearing the whole thing apart. As I showed you guys in the previous video, all of the cylinders have some debris in there. I'm not sure how it got in there, but it's in there and it's, it's a hassle, but it's what needs to be done to move forward in this process. As I was saying in the last video, everything needs to be organized. This is everything that came off the car. As far as stuff, I don't care. I know what everything is. I know where it goes. But as far as bolts, I have no clue. So I went and picked up this little organizer. Um, I labeled everything. All the bolts are in there with little labels that say how many of each bolt are supposed to be in there. And yeah, so, and this lifts up too. And there's a whole nother bottom section, which I haven't filled up yet, just the top. But I thought that was super cool. And now everything will be organized. Hopefully I'll just keep these little pieces of paper. And whenever I take the motor apart, I already have something that's uh, set to go. I might even label it all like in what order everything goes out. So, I don't know. We'll see. But I really like that idea and I think that's going to help me a lot in the future. Great $20 investment. Another thing before we actually jump into the video, I am going to be doing a drop test of the stock oil pump gears because everyone says that they're super, super brittle and they pretty much break on any impact. So, I want to see for myself how weak these things actually are. Now that all the bolts are off the oil pan, I can pull it off. Let's hope that there's not oil that goes everywhere. I think it should be okay. Alright guys, so you can't really see, but in here, the oil pan is completely disconnected from the motor, but the pickup tube runs through this little hole in here, and um, it is actually the only thing that's holding this thing from falling right now. So, when I take off these two bolts for the pickup tube, that is going to be allowing the uh, oil pan to actually drop. So I just have to be careful and make sure that when I disconnect those, I don't let the whole thing smack against the ground or this engine sand. So let me get that off. That is what they tell you not to do. Wow. Gave it a nice drop in there, but whatever. All right. I've been trying to get this oil pan off for like the last 30 minutes. I just realized this whole gasket, which I thought was part of the uh, pan itself, actually comes right off. So this should be pretty easy from here. As long as I don't do anything stupid. All right, and then that gives access to this. Once you separate that, it gives you access to that bolt right there, which is gonna be for the actual pickup tube. So let me get that undone and I will show you that. All right, now that I have the stock oil pickup tube out of the car, Look at the difference. So this is the MMR one, and it's going to pick up a lot more oil than this one because it's obviously increasing the pickup area of more than 100%. There's really no words I can say to justify that, but just look at the difference. I mean, that is night and day. So definitely was a solid pickup. This thing's like 80 bucks. So if you have your motor out of the car, there's no reason why you shouldn't be upgrading these small things. Now for what everyone's been waiting for, let's get the oil pump off. Now let's hope this doesn't spill oil everywhere. Another good one, sweet. Here we are taking a closer look at the Achilles heel of the Coyote engine. I mean, this is the main thing that everyone always has fail, and we are gonna test it right now. So I'm gonna take it out of here, we're gonna run it into the backyard, and we're gonna drop this baby and see if she shatters on impact. There 
There she is. Alrighty. So it's all out. Now let's go do our drop test. Here we are. First, I'm just going to go at, you know, hand level. See if she cracks. Held up fine. Let's try the outside. Oh, that didn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cracked. <laughs> that one cracked right there. So right there is the crack, as you can see. I mean, you can hear it. I don't know if you can tell on video, but I could hear as soon as it hit that it cracked. But let's do another test. This time I'm gonna go stand up on a little ledge and drop it from a little bit higher. Now I'm pretty confident that these are gonna break right now, but let's try. That little bugger's pretty strong. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Look at this. Broke in three pieces right there. That's a good break. Let's see how the inner part did. Yeah, this one looks fine. Let's. This thing is like perfectly fine. It's like a bouncy ball. Okay. All right, hang on. Let's let's send. Yeah, this thing is a young savage. I think I'm gonna put it back in the car. What do you guys think, huh? Let's put it, make a necklace out of it, maybe? Nah, never mind, fuck that. Dude, what the fuck? I'm like, shocked. Okay. But, look at this guy. This guy is a little broke bitch. That's what he is. Good thing he's getting upgraded. Now I have the MMR oil pump gears inside the oil pump housing. So I just gotta put back on the cover, get these bolts on, and I am never gonna see these oil pump gears ever again. But they sure did look pretty, didn't they? Okay guys, so I just finished up getting the oil pump back together. Now this thing is all ready to go. Um, ready to be put back into the car, however, I do have to take apart the motor, so there's no point for me to reinstall it right now. The last thing is going to be taking off the heads, which involves me taking the cams off, uh, and then I'll be able to take a look inside the cylinders, make sure they're clean, make sure there's no debris in there, get everything really sorted out properly. I might have to get the cylinder walls re-honed, it just depends on uh, you know how bad if there's any damage there might not be any damage and that would be great maybe there's just debris because the valves were left open and maybe I, I don't really know but if there is damage I'm gonna have to get the walls rehoned and if there's any damage to the pistons uh, then I would have to get new pistons as well but I don't think that's gonna be the case I think I'm gonna look in there it's just gonna be some debris I can wipe it all out get everything cleaned up properly, and then it will be ready for action. So, that is gonna be really fun. I'm really looking forward to taking it apart, learning everything about this motor. I knew a decent amount, but I mean, obviously when you have this in your garage, you're forced to learn, and I think that that's a really cool thing about me doing this, and I'm glad that I am able to learn all this because I didn't know any of this beforehand. So, it's a really cool experience that I get to do right now, and not many people get the opportunity to actually do this. So. It's awesome and I'm actually super stoked on the whole thing. And before we close out today's video, just take one last look at this. This is what you guys are risking when you're not running an aftermarket oil pump gear. Uh, get it. I mean, it's 400 bucks. You're going to have to do labor on it, you know, because if the motor's in your car and you don't have access to a stand or anything, it's going to be a total bitch. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I would say take it to a shop, take it to someone that knows what they're doing, and get these installed because if this happens inside your car while you're driving it, you are shit out of luck. So prevent this before it happens, save yourself a headache, spend some extra money, you're going to be spending it down the road later on, especially if you track your car, if you're a high revving car, or if you take it to the strip, whatever it might be. If you just beat your car, you need to have these because you don't want this to happen. Alright guys, and with that being said, 
Thank you very much for watching today's video, and I also wanted to give a big thank you to Taylor over at MMR. Thank you very much for giving me a little discount on the parts. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, y'all, and be sure to work more and talk less.